Well, we're three away out of 11 here tonight in Bricktown, Oklahoma. Hello, I'm Craig Blacklock, your MC and commentator for the evening. I want to thank the Oklahoma Boxing Commission and Red Dragon Promotions for having me here this evening. And here we go, a couple 145 pounders. Look like they've been matched real good. And I know a little bit about the 805 Fight Club, and I know they bring the heat when it's time to compete. A bunch of great grapplers and some world-class fighters out of there. So here we go with the black trunks, Chizzy. And it looks like Maldonado shoots in low. He gets his head cocked with the white trunks. And there goes Chizzy at it. He's got him against the cage. And that's the action I'm talking about when you got somebody against the cage. And he goes to town. And now it's been reversed. Maldonado pushing Chizzy against the cage. He's going to have to watch out not to be choked. And he's doing a good job. He's got his head in the center mass of Maldonado. And he's putting pressure on him. This right here can wear fighters out there. You've got to have a game plan when you're pressing and compressing against the cage. Because everything that Maldonado has is being used right here. Nice knee by Maldonado. And Chizzy's going to have to control the knees. He needs to switch and get out of there right quick. Now's the chance for him to get away. Here they are right in front of us right now. And if I know anything right here, training with 805 Fight Club, he's going to pull that double leg, and he takes him down right there. Chizzy takes Maldonado down. He's got him against the cage. And Chizzy's going to have to watch out right here. He doesn't get choked. I don't want to say it too loud, so I don't give, tell a fighter what to do since you're right here in front of me. But Chizzy's going to have to watch his head. He doesn't get too far past the rib cage on Maldonado so he doesn't get choked. Looks like Maldonado is going for a Kimura. And now... He switches and comes out. We're back against the cage again. Good matchmaking. I'm really proud of Red Dragon right here and whoever helped to matchmake. They did a great job. Oh, nice punch as they come up right there. Great punch by Maldonado. Chizzy takes it on the chin. And now we're back to the ground right here. Maldonado with the double leg right here, driving into Chizzy. Chizzy with his back against the cage in the black trunks. Maldonado in the white trunks. And now we're driving into each other. This wastes a lot of energy, but oh, nice try to the knee to the back right there. We got 10 seconds left. Pretty even round right now. Wouldn't want to be a judge. It's a pretty even round. We're gonna have to score some blows and who had control. And we're going to round number two. Round number two of the three rounds, six minute fight. With Mike Malad Maldonado. Got to say that slow. Maldonado and Travis Chizzy out of the red corner wearing the black trunks. Mike Maldonado out of the blue corner wearing the white trunks. And it looks pretty even right now. It'd be tough to be a judge on that one right there. A lot of times, you know, 90% of the time, you can, really, you can really tell who's winning a round. And then you just add up each round and who won the most rounds is uh, kind of who wins the fight. But... Uh, when you're going to the scorecards, but in this round right here, if, if it goes all three rounds, all six minutes, it'll be curious to see what all the judges put together on the scorecards because it's really tough to judge a close fight like that where there's a lot of transition, a lot of strikes, a lot of reverses. You got to kind of look at who did what and how long they were there and who had control and who carried the pace of the fight. There's all kind of factors that go in, and they got to do that as they're, as they're watching the fight.